Out of five equations, which I mentioned in previous class, I used one equation to solve numerical problem in last class. Now, I'm using second equation to solve another numerical problem. And for this, I have selected two numericals. Look at this. These two numericals, they are basically same. Now, they are basically same. That's why I'm going to solve the second one. Now, what is written here? Mass of the sun is this much. And the radius is this much. What is the weight of 1 kg mass on the surface of the sun? In both the equation, one of the mass is taken bigger mass. I mean to say big heavenly body is given. And another is given very small heavenly body lying on its surface. And the gravitational force between these two is the question. The question is gravitational force F between these two bodies. And that's why the bigger mass can be represented by capital M. Small mass can be represented by small m. And the radius of this heavenly body can be represented by R. In both the numerical, we have the same symbol. Now I'm going to solve this. Look at this. Mass of sun is this much. It means the bigger mass, capital M, is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 30 kilogram. And the radius is this much. Radius means R is equal to 6.96 into 10 to the power 8 meter. What is the weight of 1 kg mass on the surface? It means small mass. Small one is 1 kilogram. Now, what is the weight of 1 kg? Weight means what? The gravitational force of sun acting on this 1 kg mass is the weight of this body. I mean to say, with what force Earth is attracting this mass towards its center is the weight. And the same is called gravitational force of the sun acting on this body. That's why here, gravitational force F is asked. Now for this, one point is missing here. What is missing? The value of G is not given here, capital G. That's why we can say here, G equal to, we know this value, 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square by kg square. Now after this, these are given and we have to calculate F. Now we can write, we have F equal to capital G, capital M, small m by R square. In previous first equation, it was M1, M2. Instead of M1, M2, we have capital M and small m. And in previous equation, these two bodies were separated by distance. That's why D square was taken. Instead of D square, we have here R square. Now, I'm going to put the value here. F is equal to F is equal to Capital G is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. Now capital M is 2 into 10 to the power 30 kg. This is the mass of sun. And small m, that is the mass of the body lying on, on its surface is 1 kg. That's why 1 is written. We are not taking unit in the process. Okay. Now... This is divided by R, R square. R is 6.96 into 10 to the power 8 meter. That's why 6.96 into 10 to the power 8 whole square. Now we are going to multiply this. 2, 7, 14, 4, 3, 13, there, are, there, there is point after two digits, that's why 13.34 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11 multiplied by 10 to the power 30. We multiply these numbers and power of 10 are, is taken differently.
Now, in denominator, if 6 by 9, 6 into 10 power 8 whole square, we can write the same twice. That's why 6.96 into 10 to the power 8 multiplied by 6.96 into 10 to the power 8. Now this is equal to now 13.34 into 10 to the power minus 11 plus 30. The, we have same base that's why power can be added or subtracted. Now divided by now 6.96 into 6.96 I'm going to multiply this 6.96 into 6.96 this is equal to 48.4416 48.4416 into 10 to the power 8 10 to the power 8 it means same base we can add the power 8 plus 8 and this is equal to now look at this number number this number we are dividing with 48.4416 13.34 divided by 48.4416 this is equal to this is equal to 0.27538 now number is divided by number now remaining power of 10 10 to the power minus 11 plus 30 means 30 minus 11 becomes 19 and divided by 10 to the power 16 is left, 8 plus 8. Now this is equal to 0.27538 into 10 to the power 19. When 10 to the power 16 goes up, the power becomes negative minus 16. This is equal to 0.27538 into 10 to the power 19 minus 16 becomes 3 and this is equal to 0.27538 into 10 to the power 3 means 1000 now when we, we multiply this with 1000 then 275.38 three zeros shifts this point to three digit right hand side that's why 275.38 since it is force so its unit is newton it means one kg mass weighs how much 275.38 newton on the surface of the sun